guys, welcome back to Think and Fabric. I'm Jen Frost, and today we're gonna to take a look at how to turn quilt blocks into little pillows. Um, if you're like me, you probably have tons of quilt blocks hanging around your quilting space. I have countless blocks from projects I've started or just little orphan blocks I have laying around from maybe a quilt I was gonna make but didn't finish or just a cute block that I wanted to make. So today we're gonna to take a look at how to turn some of these into really adorable pillows. Let's get started. After you decide the size of the pillow you want to make, you'll want to measure your quilt block. You'll see my quilt block is a 12 inch quilt block. I've already added some borders on the sides based on the size of the pillow insert that I want. Now, I'm gonna be using a 16 inch pillow insert. So you'll see with my borders, I'm at about 15 inches. Now that'll bring me down once I sew it to about 14 and a half for my pillow. And that is definitely smaller than the 16 inch insert, but I like that look. I like that look of a very fluffy pillow. So I will be making my front panel a little bit smaller so it can fit. So again, I'm going for a finished size of about 14 inches by 14 inches to fit a 16 inch insert. So you'll wanna make whatever adjustments you need to yours and then go ahead and add on any of the borders that you'll need to extend your quilt pad to the size or your um, your quilt top to the size that you're going to need to fit your pillow insert. The next thing you want to do is cut your batting, baste your quilt. I like to use a spray base to get it in place here and quilt it as desired. Now right now you're only sewing again through the two layers. You have your top layer and your batting. And this is just going to be creating that beautiful top for your pillow. Once you finish your top stitching, you're gonna come back and trim off your extra. So you'll see I've already trimmed off three sides and I'm gonna go ahead and trim up my last side here. Now, as mentioned, I had a, a two inch strips um, unfinished. That was with my allowance. So used up a quarter inch. So I'm gonna line it up here to make a nice consistent edge on the one and three quarter. And I'm just trimming those to make sure that I have one and a three quarter inch borders all the way around the front of my pillow. Once your edges are trimmed, you're going to go ahead and measure the total size of your pillow. Now my pillow is 15 inches, so that will be one of the measurements I'm going to go ahead and write down. And you want to double check both sides because we're going to be using these measurements in our next step as we calculate the fabric we'll need for the back. Again, if yours is square, it probably should measure out. And mine's 15 by 15 on both. Mine's a, a nice, perfect quilt block. Um, but go ahead, measure yours, and then write those measurements down. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to calculate our fabric requirements for our back pieces. You're first going to start by taking that measurement that you had for the width. If you remember, mine was 15 inches. To determine the length of the two fabric panels you'll need on the back of your pillow, you're going to take your width divided by two plus three inches. These three inches are needed in order to make the envelope. So in my case, I have my 15 inches divided by two plus those three inches for the envelope gives me a total panel length, again making two panels, at 10 and a half inches each in length plus that 15 inches in width. Through the power of fast cutting, we have both of our panels. So next we're going to take it over to the pressing area to where you're going to iron and make a seam. And this is going to be a double seam or a rolled hem. What we're going to be doing is you're going to be taking your panel and you're going to take the part that's the width of your fabric. So again, we'll be using um, 15 just for this demo because that's what mine is. So you're going to be folding down this a quarter of an inch, folding it again a quarter of an inch, and then you're going to be pressing this. And then this is how we'll be making that nice clean edge for the envelope of our pillow. Okay, so we're gonna start making those little hems. Now you can measure yours. Um, I, I sometimes sew like I cook. <laughs> you know, a teaspoon is roughly a teaspoon. And in this case, a quarter of an inch hem is roughly a quarter of an inch. Um, it's okay if it's a, a slight little bit off. So you're gonna put your first one in there and then being careful not to burn yourself. You're going to roll that one more time 
you're gonna press it again just to make that nice clean edge for your pocket. So see, that was very easy. We're gonna just go ahead and we're gonna repeat the same process on your second piece and then I'll meet you over at the sewing machine. Okay, now that we've got our fabric pressed on our roughly quarter inch seam here, our rolled hem, we're going to go ahead and just do a gentle stitch right across. Um, I'm about an eighth of the inch the way up. I've got it on a back stitch there to keep things in place. I'm just gonna go right along the bottom here, keeping it tucked and getting a nice seam there. Now I do have the same colored thread in both the top and the bottom, um, just to make it blend in. And I'm sewing on the back side here, that way I can kind of make sure I'm staying you know, equal distance from um, the bottom, as well as making sure I'm picking up my, my rolled hem. So we'll come to the end and give it a quick cut and repeat on the other. So once you're done sewing, you should have two pieces of fabric like I have here, each with a seam that has been rolled um, and about an eighth of an inch stitch on that seam. And you'll see what that does is that creates a nice even pocket. So you can imagine what's gonna happen is we're gonna go to the, the cutting table in a minute, but we'll be layering these on top of each other. So this is where those nice seams come in because you'll be able to tuck your pillow casing inside these two seams. Let's go ahead and we're gonna attach these now to our little quilt block to form the top of our pillow. So we have our two strips. We're gonna start first by pinning our strip to the top. By doing your top first, what this is gonna do is make sure that your envelope opens from the top down. Um, honestly, it's not that big a deal which direction it opens from. I, I think it's a little cleaner if it opens from the top down than from the bottom up. So you're gonna secure those in place. And we'll go ahead and we're gonna pin our bottom one in place as well. I'm gonna add some extra pins here on this one too. Oops, got that backwards. You wanna make sure, um, like I almost did, that your seam that you sewed is actually gonna be the open part of the envelope. Here's the seam that I stitched. I'm gonna put that on part of the envelope. I'm gonna go ahead and pin the bottom. Pull that up. My bottom got a little wrinkled here. That's okay, you're not even gonna see it. I'm gonna go ahead and pin this in place. And then I'm gonna put a pin along the sides here to keep those layers tacked down because I want this to stay nice and smooth as it's going through my machine. We'll get this side. We'll add one more pin down here on the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna head back to the machine and we're gonna go ahead and get some stitching done. Let's talk about some settings. The first setting you'll want to make sure is that you've got a walking foot on here. Um, depending on what type of machine you have, they're all gonna be different. The second setting you'll want to make sure is that you have um, a foot on there that is gonna allow you to mark about a half an inch away. Now, if your foot doesn't have a clean measurement, I know you're probably used to sewing with a quarter inch foot, which is cleanly marked. You'll wanna just measure that distance. So I'm able to tell based on my foot and measuring here that my um, foot is set up exactly to have that half inch mark from the needle center to the edge of the foot. Probably done on purpose, obviously, but you'll wanna make sure for your machine that that setting is there. And we're gonna be doing that half an inch all the way around just to make sure that we um, not only are grabbing our fabric from the other side, but to add that security. You know, pillows get a lot of rough, um, rough and tumble, not only in just pillow fights, but when you're gonna be putting it in and out of this envelope. So I've got my fabric flipped down. I've got, you'll see, I'm sewing with the quilt side up. That's just gonna give me that nice, clean, straighter edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with the back stitch first. Did not worry about pulling up my bottom thread on this one. I'm okay if it nests a little bit. You're not gonna see it. But I'm just gonna continue to go all the way around. Um, one tip is you wanna make sure, now I, I made sure when I put my pins in that I would have enough space to go ahead and not, um, not run them over. You don't ever really wanna sew over pins. Uh, it's never, never a good thing to do there. Um, but I'm just gonna continue that half an inch stitch all the way around the quilt. And we will take a look at it when we are done. We've got our seam all put in. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come back. You wanna take out all your pins. Make sure you remove those. That's not something you wanna sit back on with a pillow. And we're gonna trim our corners. Now to trim your corners, you don't wanna take off too much. Um, I just recommend taking off, um, like if you've got your corner here, you know, come down to maybe about an eighth of an inch right above that uh, corner seam that you've sewn and just clip it. And what this is gonna do, you know, a quarter to an, an eighth of an inch, um, is gonna reduce that bulk. 
because otherwise when you make your pillow when you stuff your pillow in there you're going to be left with all that extra in the corner you're not going to have those nice clean corners that uh, that we like to have with the pillow so my pins are out my corners are clipped and now your case is ready to turn inside out so you've made that nice little envelope from the back you're just going to come in and you're going to reverse super easy i'm excited to see how this is going to turn out and here we go we have our final little product i think this is just adorable you can see it's got a nice little pocket in here so i can just continue to change it these are actually the blue pillows from our kitchen um our whole house is in blue and white but this is now super easy loose string uh, super easy to go ahead and update seasonally you know we've just taken a basic quilt block we've updated it and we have a wonderful little decorative pillow I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, I would love a like, give us a follow, and we will see you for the next one. Happy sewing.